Whenever anyone asks what I do or you know, customs forms when I go into countries, I always just put inventor. And it's very funny because the customs agent, you know, they'll usually look back and then they'll say, like, what? And now I say, I invented ring. And they're like, holy shit. I'm like, yeah. That's right. Meet Jamie Simonoff. The ring doorbell all began as an idea in his head. From a garage much like this one. I was a tinker. Like, I've always had a garage or a basement. Everything I look at, I'm always trying to see how I can make it better. Hidden away creating, Jamie kept missing deliveries as he couldn't hear his doorbell. And then I'm like, oh, there must be someone making a Wi-Fi video doorbell, or even like a Wi-Fi doorbell, and just nothing existed. Obviously, there was only one solution, to create a doorbell that was also a camera, which he called the doorbot. And so literally, the first doorbot that I built I mean, this is the manufactured version. I literally built it, soldered it, you know, hammered it out on my bench on nights and weekends. It's like I built this stupid thing and I put it on the front of my house. The missed delivery problem was solved. But he soon realized there was an even bigger upside to seeing who was at the door. My wife is like, oh, this makes me feel safer at home. I invented a different way to do home security and no one had ever done that. His ingenuity caught the eye of producers on one of the biggest TV shows in America. Get a call from a random number, pick it up. The guy's like, that thing's awesome, you gotta be on Shark Tank. Okay. I'm like, we're gonna be on Shark Tank at home. Like, we're gonna be on Shark Tank. Shark Tank is quite a lot like our Dragon's Den, but being American with bigger teeth, bigger budgets, and a much nastier bite. I was gonna win. I worked really hard at doing that, and I was, yeah, I was, I was gonna win Shark Tank. Here, the small fry live in constant terror of the larger denizens of the deep. Unfortunately, his confidence was slightly misplaced. And then in the first, like, five minutes, Mark Cuban's like, Jamie, great idea, can't see it getting that big, I need big things, I'm out. I'm like, so like, I thought Mark Cuban was like for sure gonna invest. They just were like, how much does a regular doorbell cost? Okay, well yours is 200 bucks. Well, you, you, a regular doorbell can't be $20 and yours is 200. How big is the doorbell market? How many doorbells are sold a year? Well, not that many. Well, then you can only sell a percentage of not that many. Or as they say on Dragon's Den. I'm out. I'm afraid I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I walked out of there just like, I, I was just like, I got almost like, like blacked out. But when the show finally aired, people loved the doorbot. So this was like a legit big show, 13-minute TV commercial on us. And so being on Shark Tank was almost like a stamp of approval. And we immediately saw that people want this product. We became, I think it's one of the fastest growing hardware companies in history. Some might say they'd hit the jackpot. So we did Shark Tank and then we launched Ring at the end of that. That was 3 million. The next year was 30 million. The next year was 170. The next year was 480. And it didn't stop there. In 2018, uh, early 2018, sold to Amazon for a billion dollars. Not bad for a garage tinkerer. By adding a camera, Jamie had turned a simple doorbell into a whole new form of home security.